This is M.U. Cifei, a true giant of incomprehensible proportions. The planet in the foreground spans six Earths in diameter. Also known as the Garnet Star, this is the third largest star ever to be discovered in our galaxy. Despite being an estimated 2500 light years away, it can be seen with the naked eye from Earth. Side by side, our sun would fit more than 1150 times. Such size doesn't come without a prize. You could fit 4.5 billion suns in MU Cife, but in spite of that, its mass is only just about 25 times the sun's making it effectively a big huge superheated marshmallow. It wasn't always like this. The star is nearing the end. It is dying, and as such, it will grow bigger still. Until finally, it may explode as a supernova, taking with it any planets or nearby stars. Following the course of many others, the Garnet Star will likely after that become a black hole. Currently though, it is just an unstable supergiant, and imminent mass destruction is still a few million years away. Surrounding the supergiant Marshmallow is an unknown quantity of celestial objects. Freezing 20 degrees Celsius on average, this desert is found in orbit 434 astronomical units from Cife. An astronomical unit, or AU, is the distance from our Earth to our Sun. 
at just under 150 million kilometers, it is nothing more than an interstellar stone's throw. By comparison, Pluto, the previously thought to be the furthest orbiting planet in our solar system, is 31 AUs from our Sun, and because of this, it's a very cold world. In fact, it's freezing 228 degrees Celsius. Back on the desert, the atmosphere is so thin, it is almost non-existent. There is no indication that we will ever find water, either liquid or frozen. It is unlikely, then, that we will ever encounter any life here. Even so, it would not be wise to rule it out completely. Life has its ways with survival. One might say that it has a certain inherent stubbornness to stay alive. Even on an asteroid floating through space, life can possibly survive. Despite the incredibly low temperatures and the complete lack of an atmosphere or gaseous compounds such as oxygen or nitrogen, it has been suggested that bacteria can lie dormant here, waiting for the right opportunity to evolve. Though yet unproven, and sometimes even frowned upon, it is a recurring theory that this is how life first came to be on our Earth. There is also a theory that the Venus flytrap, a carnivorous plant, was brought to Earth by an asteroid. 
This is partly due to the fact that we are currently unsure about its evolution, and partly because of where the plant is found. Although it's not at all impossible, there is no conclusive proof.